look at the politicians, Jay. They are comedians on their own. If you can, if you watch this on, I want my man not to say cringe up because of that. <laughs> and you get so much content from come like you are, but you are not going to zoom out. We are going to watch post post on content. And they are coming to play. That we will get it up. Come on, yeah. Cool level on culture. Eh, uh, umpati so umban. Is that not a conspiracy uh, to spend more money? Hey, uh, it's job creation. Yeah. For a boy, not for a teen. Eh? It's job creation. What if it was a side chick that said, hey, it's <laughs> <the laughs> a <laughs> creation, the portfolio or something? <laughs> the Minister of Electricity. Hey, I wonder. My... God, then there's a kind of sense that I'm Mr. Umban, Minister Andre. Yeah, no? like... and, and all of a sudden, after that announcement of Minister of Electricity, we are already in stage six. Hey, yeah. right? My... Yeah. So someone was saying that it's like creating a minister of finance, minister of money, when you already have a minister of finance. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much for joining us, man. Thank you. Um, so Ukanyi Sapunu um, is a comedian. Basically, mm, she's mm, also on radio. She's also an actress as well. Um, what's interesting about her surname is that. Ekapa, na simple makoloni, ye city bulu. When we are referring to a white man, an African's white man. Africans, yes. In Johannesburg. Isizulu. In Isizulu. Ibunu. Yes. So where does bunu come from? Do you know hey, the upunu, story? I don't even know. Hi, it's one of those in Gazazi. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was an interesting story. <laughs> A uh, still interesting story. <laughs> I thought I thought oh, there's no, an interesting no, no. story. There's no interesting story. I don't mind what Ben Bali Poon Ben Ben Mali. Ben Mali. Oh, shut up! I can't even. I can't even. Yeah, the the the. I can't do the poor. Or you do farming. That's that's dope. So at least there is an interesting story. Next time, the party in Goku. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and you actually drive a car like you do. Hey, 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 one of the motor That's a beautiful <laughs> car. <laughs> it's a beautiful score. <laughs> <laughs> it takes me from A to B. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Thank you, man. I'm so happy to have you. Mm-hmm. Um I'm going to talk about your career at some point. Okay. Right? But when we have comedians here, we have to break rules mm-hmm, a little mm-hmm, bit. Mm-hmm. Why do you think that uh, Upold and the beautiful old days of our lives kept on killing hey. Ste- hey. Stefano Temero? Hey. I think it's so freedom and So Stefano Temero must have died like five or six hey, different times hey, hey, Stefano. and sometimes it reappears hey, on Upo the beautiful in fact this was why was it days of our lives because good days of my life and I born young ladies whose lives can't days of their lives not but as far given and yeah it's interesting mm-hmm. you know what mm-hmm. my theory is that yeah. it's probably a contractual issue mm-hmm. and a ratings issue mm-hmm. so the actor who was doing Stefano De Mero, mm-hmm. um, whenever he was having, at the beginning, when he was having, maybe in the 80s, mm-hmm. when he was having a contractual issue, mm-hmm. they would be like, I, I'm born here. Um, <laughs> and then they would kill him, they would kill him in the, in okay. the, mm-hmm. in the series or the soapy. And then as soon as he's not there, mm-hmm. the ratings go down. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then as soon as they go down, they panic, they go back to him. But put. They renegotiate. Yeah. The queen. Yeah. It's a similar thing. And we never get to explanation as serious. That, I think they be, it's because they know that the audience is not that sophisticated. Do you realize you, all of a sudden it became Generations the Legacy mm-hmm. and people still watched? Mm-hmm. You, you would have you would have expected Uguti people turn their backs and say, this is not the generations I signed up for. Mm-hmm. Upukaraba, mm-hmm. Uputao, and all of that. But within months, they started a new story and then it was new faces, but people still watched. And I suppose it's cool to know what you're doing. I'm going to talk to you. 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 So, I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to talk to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Why would you... 
I don't understand. Why would you think that that's normal to kill off someone five different times and not think that that would be an issue with your audience? I mean, and they call normal. Come, sound big, yeah. My study should audience, yeah, but first so I know we don't mind. Mm. I don't I think we audience has serious but from the back on the blue so I end up. Yeah. I think my study should be full of BM sends this din will last up I beg. Come on, don't sometimes live up poop alone. Some one of my land even for the some con like consecutively. Some we had bookel up for uh two weeks on I bookel. Some we are celebrated we are poopy alum. So I think <laughs> <laughs> I think I had my chance. Yeah, mm. and the other thing that was interesting, which I picked up from that um, series, Ooh, Days and Bold, because mm-hmm. well, we grew up in the nineties, mm-hmm. and that was like the most watched thing at some mm-hmm. point. Mm-hmm. Um, is that the importance of a villain? Abandu bayam tanda ukbona umda bamanyanyayo. The importance of a villain, and I can I tell you something interesting? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It was deliberate for me to create a junior Kanye on screen. Because as for as long as they have something they hate, mm-hmm. they will always they will come back and and, and and watch. Israel and but but as some fun as some fun as some fun. Yeah. Once was so sad and but but yeah, man, maga buye Yeah. Mm, I think we we enjoy actually because it's it's once stories about fled without the villain. It's stories about fled. Funu, nengi adrenaline nyuke ngoku buge. Yeah, you need a Jack Mabaso. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah. Who you think you want him to die, but you don't know that you want him to die. You need them tunes. It was a kumbula scandal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was them tunes. Yeah. There was the mother kum tunes. It was a kumbula Yeah. Mm-hmm. And people just took up sex as buffoon. In other scriptures, palango gua koish. Yeah. Uh, there was there was another thing that they complained about. Um, um, tabo malema. Mm-hmm. Um, he had an Afro scandal mm-hmm. recently. Mm-hmm. Um, I think there was a GPV uh, storyline, mm-hmm. and he was a perpetrator of gender-based violence. Mm-hmm. And people mm-hmm. were so pissed off that they wrote to scandal. They wanted him out, and they actually wrote him out of a scandal, which was an interesting story because I think it it hit home to the audience. So they are seeing someone every single day who reminds them of their lives because mm-hmm. some women mm-hmm. go through that mm-hmm. and then they ended up writing mm-hmm. Utabo Malema off. And that's an actor whose bread is affected just for playing a role. In general, okay, and it's unfair because it's script was Yeah. Unfortunately, you need a role, but you peel up and then people don't want you. I wish people could also think of that as well. And also, there's, I don't understand why it's because Tetang is in the first if Indians like people should know Indians like especially if we see it the punish of what they did, then I think we need such storylines. Yeah, right? you are you you delving into filmmaking now. Mm-hmm. Um and what have we've just spoken about mm-hmm. are some of the themes that you're gonna have to consider. Mm-hmm. Villains. Of course, your your genre is comedy, mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. but you're always gonna have to think about um what do you do in the event of people don't like not liking a certain character? How was that for you to write? Uh, have you always been a writer as well? I've always been a writer. I've cool and the bar and I've written in novels and so cool uh, but I know it's like we do a good drama and then go I'm re- I've written like I, I, in my life I think I've written more than 20 scripts but th- I'm shooting a movie like um, recently like maybe yeah. I'm not recently soon 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 like in the next two weeks so a shooting movie is called Joker's Hub so it's more like a comedy drama we do have a villain though but I just hope it's like a cool we do it's called jo- Joker's Hub it's about comedians staying in the home ho- same house Dealing with life, you know, as comedians, most of us are chosen. But I want to be material. I'm where now, the now. It's, it's more like I'm taking the comedy world and I'm putting it under one roof and I'm showing people how we live as comedians. When you're doing this, writing a, a comedy, it's very weird as well that you're writing it specifically about comedians. Uh, but in Hollywood, they always accuse them of being so uncreative that they write things about Hollywood. When uh, was it always like your thing in your head? Would you, you're going to write something about comedy and comedians? Uh, I write about anything. A comedy, the thunder. I write a lot about it, but I can confirm. I write about anything. Yeah. I do have. I do have other scripts in Jersey. Out as of my comedy, so I'm not stereotyped into comedy. But just a comedy, because I think it's more in demand. The comedy people want to watch it in doll rather than all the lessons. There should be some laughter, woman. Yeah, because, absolutely, mm-hmm. absolutely. It's something that I would definitely watch. I mean, I I, I love comedy, um, and it's, and of course. As the audience, we get accused of. I remember when Celeste Nduli was here, and she actually challenged me to go and watch mm-hmm. on stage because I I love comedy and I love stand up comedy. That's my favorite genre. But 
it hadn't been it, it was after a long time that i went on stage and when yeah, she challenged yeah, yeah, yeah. me i went to watch mm-hmm. on the venue and it was a beautiful experience i jonga jonga stage uni in real life you can i know you compare and don't know nandi it's nice it's nice to watch you come here as a partner like this one hale front you watch hale front and hale oh yeah you watch hale front it's best go out so then pele material you corner pam go yes most as comedians pop now we pin i think now we're going to go to the microphone at some point yeah pele you come to live you know you know yeah also jump is almost a junk bang but la pam go go to ta what is my next line open to be like line here so we're telling a family immediately it would be feasting on you it's an interesting one because there was one lady who works for netflix and she mm-hmm. was flexing about that uh-huh. because she works for netflix in the comedy special saga celeste nduli mm-hmm. that i went to watch and she became the butt of the joke for all <laughs> comedians because she was i think she was standing up for a, a joke or whatever yeah but she was mm-hmm. being a karen mm-hmm. basically mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. about a joke one thing one way or another and then every single comedian afterwards hey, and don't plus the mc that. Um, they just hit it on the way that she was dressing and all <laughs> uh-huh. of that stuff. And abanya mandi kwa tiko wa pendu like. Yeah. Na iwe pendu la like. Oh yo 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 abanya mandi tiko fupas ba umdu ngoko ichiza personal land. But it's an it's an interesting genre of comedy because I was thinking um uguti why is it that it became the the go to genre for abandu abafunu valumlo mo abanya bandu. So when so there's music, mm-hmm. there's film. Uh-huh. Um there's a lot of other things that there's people poetry. it doesn't yeah exactly mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and then when the lgbtqi community wanted mm-hmm. to express themselves they wanted abanda banga matho da bafuna ubizwa ngabanda bango mama and all of that somehow they targeted comedians uh, to be so, like you would see Dave Chappelle um getting a backlash um you would see a lot of comedians getting a backlash uh, for their um, um transgender jokes for example mm-hmm. i don't know why they couldn't Maybe musicians don't really speak out a lot in their music mm-hmm. but it just automatically became stand up comedians who became targets. I don't know if you have ever thought about that which why was there an antagonistic relationship between comedians plus the like, LGBTQI community at some point? Mm, I'm not even aware of that. Like honestly and and I you kumbula I don't know I witness when you read anything of that nature. Yeah. But I know uh, as com- nan, I'm a comedian namne but there are sometimes namne can feel good there are topics in zoyikayo You no know, there are things that you cannot joke about and I'm, I'm, I'm not saying LGBT you cannot joke about but I think they are very sensitive especially if if our band they are already marginalized to go born but people are going and then you come and joke about them then I don't know but I'm not saying I think we are humanizer um, the, when when you joke about someone you actually humanize them mm-hmm, you, you 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 are planting the seed in our mind as the audience so go to these are people they exist and you can joke about them if you can joke about blacks and whites and women and uh, broke men uh, you, if you can joke about categories of people i think you are actually embracing the group of people by making jokes about them yeah. you're not hating i agree i agree groups of people nam I, i don't see boundaries but there are things that we can talk about like joke about so when we embrace alone you 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 allow yourself that boundary um and that red tape on yourself because with your genre mm-hmm. stand up comedy ungenza no bayi ndone na within reason as long as it's not malicious but okay. of course no one tells you what is and what isn't malicious until you've done it mm-hmm. so when you embrace the thing of you have to be very you, you thread carefully i don't know if i get you ne? but now when it comes to people and now i can't say i can talk about lgbt i can tell you guys sure I can talk about anything but there are incidents let's take about, let's talk about rape yeah i can't even go there it is so sad in nabaya that i don't even know what to say i'm not no include a joke i'm go born because we live in a society apo e rape is so common yeah that people think that it's okay to do it people do it hlambo omnyaka doesn't even understand but ndayenza i wrongo with the funny my girlfriend you know things like those so when it gets to topics like those as a comedian i've been like asuba if i can include that in my jokes you better yeah yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. i suppose like i mean every comedian i get what you're saying and i respect it every comedian has their own decision to make about where to go mm-hmm. because i've heard some hilarious rape jokes but maybe the context is that they are said in a country where there's no pandemic maybe mm-hmm. in that in that place mm-hmm. where they are mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. they don't have such a problem and i've heard them very hilarious i've heard jokes about black people that are very hilarious and i'm like they are almost next to the line of what is ac- acceptable and what is not but i think the other thing is that we should never allow crowds to decide about you know acceptable 
because when they do that uh, close they get closer and closer um, mm. when they when when groups of people tell you um about the feminism climate they tell you you can't joke about this you can't joke about that they get closer and closer to a point where at some point if you allow it in 20 years time there will be no comedy at some point we're not going to be joking about politics and yeah, 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 politicians then gone by gay comedies of there are things yeah. that honestly you like if you look at the politicians Jay, they are comedians on their own if you got if you watch this on i want my man not say creature up because of that <laughs> and you get so much content from come like you are like 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 glass of slot some some trouble in if money content a lot from can be on tv so i think you are right you are right but for me there are things that going to happen now la lips go ban ga joke oh yeah yeah i love that i love that and no and and also i once mentioned because in your interview back in the end recently going in now did him now i want to have a content that when my children my grandchildren my great grandchildren may bukela dinga bambu mzimba i just want to have that kind of content is an lalisa kam na lips because it can still be fun without having to swear without having to talk about some other things it can still be fun and once what kind of ufunba creative as a comedian you the more you, you get to some stages that you think apa yeah zange ndize ku stage if mhlambe ngazange this is ideal but this is my line of comedy yeah well, i love i love what you're saying because it, it it it's it you take personal responsibility for the mm-hmm. things that are coming out of your mouth mm-hmm. because you are going to be the one who goes to bed and sleep and be comfortable with who you are knowing that there are groups of people who are hurting as a result of your words mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. and the thing is like the balance um, is very it's dicey mm-hmm. so no one tells you what 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 the border is lamka long across wayo no one tells you about it mm-hmm. you should police yourself and regulate yourself or would you, oh okay perhaps i crossed the line here even as you are writing it or you are thinking about it perhaps this is going to cross the line so it's about self policing as mm-hmm. a comedian mm-hmm. and also it doesn't mean that if i've got that line for myself and deny for another comedian no it's good for a comedian and sure for whatever and I'm, i find those funny actually as in those so that i'm not i decided but i want to talk about this i'll talk about that i listen to other comedians but and i fall off my chair yeah. so i think it's, it's a diverse it's a diverse as people and need to embrace each other get diversity here to this is this type of a comedian low unje 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 yeah a lot of people thought that oh donald trump um well some comedians love mm-hmm. the content mm-hmm. um they got donald trump and they <laughs> They would go um like they would go hard on him mm-hmm, mm-hmm. at the time that he was a president in america uh-huh, uh-huh. now something similar in south africa would have been with jacob zuma mm-hmm. um with jacob zuma <laughs> was comedy content mm-hmm. but with jacob zuma was also uh there's there's a word for it it's called a hack uh-huh. so it mm-hmm. you're not being creative mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. how was it in that period when if you walked on a mm-hmm. walked into a club uh, or a venue a comedy it's like the first five comedians said said something about Uzuma. When or what did you do? Did you also write about Uzuma? Did you also talk about it? Did you feel it with oh, you when uh, so called because everyone is talking about him? No. No, no, no. Now when you come at him and we can talk about the same thing get less different. Of, obviously, yeah. The come one time they're going to book any event in Gape Halfelt Arena. Yeah, into the government. And I had loads and loads of jokes with Gary Jacob Uzuma. Now I'm getting a better and a better and a better. Long when book lot go my book. Kalunga tetha ngozuma alwa kumenda apha. Didi bebehleka nje bona. Bebehleka nabo. So they see what we see. Oh, akona. Uzuma uhamba kwakhe was post post nga content. Men funa ni hleke. Yeah. Bomu president wakati bantu ben funa ni hleke. Ufaswa le right tetha yo. I don't know. Sometimes ngathi kuma vela bengivela nga prepare nje udada fruited. Evela ngeni nje. I suppose it, I mean it has to do with the fact that he left school at grade 3 mm-hmm. he educated himself like mm-hmm. in terms of how to read and stuff like that so at some point the script is like five pages long mm-hmm. and it's like it's, it's too much font if font ya khona if font size and ya mkhumbula tata mubukele apha ka buya lo content ngqabile fontin content ngqabile e bona ofuna si analyze ngokuba bese Yes, and that's with some money jal. Yeah, did you yeah. like when you, did, when you look at the Ramaphosa you know, as comedy content we are born back on Zima. Other than the obvious thing, yeah, 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 Oscom, the load mm-hmm. shedding. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, like it, yeah. Other than that, there's yeah, nothing. Yeah, yeah. No, too brilliant. Come some, not brilliant. It's not scandalous. Yeah, una I got to know. like, yo, ha, una na yo yasa, yasa, I'm a content. Yasa, couches ne mali. Yasa, I'm a na ne angole yonge lende ya. Yeah. Like, na yo ya pume kuzi. When it was so fun, when the mugele gule gule sona yokebel. I'd say the paga milo kuzi salapans, 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 I, 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 that, was, that was 45 minutes. Mm, he sp- mm, it was mm, 45 minutes before mm, he spoke, mm, mm-hmm. which I thought was very interesting because mm. I thought that was brilliant, actually. Like, no, I think, you know, it's a skill that's fun. I'm going to say, guys. It's a bangle, but I'm going to say, 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 I'm going to I, I, it's, I, I think it's probably very difficult because I was watching the same thing as well. Mm. I only stopped watching 30 minutes into Ramaphosa's speech because I wanted manage- to hear him talk about where's come, what's your solution and all of that. When he mentioned electricity minister and I was like, okay, this is your solution. Then after 30 minutes, I was like, okay, cool. But as a speaker of a parliament, um, I listened to her. Um, I, I was trying to ask myself, like, what would, how would I have been handling this different? Uh, the way that he did it with um, Mr. Zungula, with, mm-hmm. with ATM, mm-hmm. was strategically the best way because you you give some, you, you allow them to raise the so-called point of order mm-hmm. and then you give them three different warnings mm-hmm. and then you throw them out. That's the procedural way of doing it. Now, it's interesting because you can't do it with 400 members of parliament. Yo. What if all of them do the same and thing? And why should they call each other honorable? Because, eh, according to honorable, pa, eh, when you're talking about a member, I'm going to remember, okay? Honorable member, who first member I call honorable, which only behave by a member, but there's nothing honorable up. It's for so if, if the intention is to get attention as a political party, mm-hmm. as the EFF, for example, mm. so if you allow, so think about it tactically, if you allow Ramaphosa to speak, the message that's sent out there is that we are, the country is in a normal state of, mm-hmm. uh, is in a normal situation. Mm-hmm. We are. Perhaps 12 months before elections or 14 months before elections is uh, 2024. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's one of the most watched things in the mm-hmm. country, right? Mm-hmm. So now, if you're looking for a mileage as a political party, advertisement as mm-hmm. a political party, that's the best thing for them to do. Because if you allow them to speak clean, everyone goes home. Nothing is being said about you as your brand. Of course, mm-hmm. if you're living mm-hmm. in South Africa, there's a downside to it because there's an older generation that doesn't like the way that that looks mm-hmm. and they will never vote for you because of that. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. if you're looking for marketing and advertising and mileage and you want to send a message that we are in an abnormal state, mm-hmm. uh, you're not supposed to govern us, mm-hmm. then that's a, you see, there's a w- many ways to look at it. Actually, when I say honorable, honorable, I'm referring to all of them because born, born, like, there's nothing honorable there. We have a couple of bongos, just a group of People who are there for a mission, yeah, and too. It doesn't involve us if they involve us. They are there from themselves, for themselves, actually. Honorable, my business, I'm fair to call. Yeah, call eh, 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 when I'm fun, color pants, eh, Domazan, out, eh, when I put because I can't do honorable, pa. yeah, and you have to, but in withdraw if you say anything other yeah. than honorable. Apologize. Uh, I withdraw uh, whatever. No, no unconditional. Withdrawal. And can we tell you later? We can withdraw. What that, that difference does it make? I got a money. We see. So saying like in actually, we don't even know going forward. But we fun for the laban. We see people just have fun. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't. I don't think changing one politi- political party to another is going to solve this electricity crisis. Yeah, but anyways, we're not here to make people sad. You're mm-hmm. a comedian. Yeah. Um, yeah. I was asking you about uh, politicians that are funny. Do you find Julius Malema funny? As uh, Johnston, oh. for, for for material, do you find him funny? Uh, uh, which, which lesson, as a person, and I'm turned. I find him funny, and I find him intelligent mm. because which Julius. Me, I get go by any more radicalist tinna, but I find him funny. Yeah, yeah, and smart. Yeah, content. Yeah, nigga, lots, lots and lots of content. And he, once I joke about him, you would never pick up Bandi Amtan. Yeah, 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 I joke about him as Bandi Amtan, but he's one of my people in general. But without him, he, he, he saw Nabisuzo Lala. How did you tell your mother that you are a comedian? 
it was not easy because I was a teacher and I told my mother that I want to start to, to try comedy. So it was like um dana mugu ya paisa life in and I, I said to him, Mama, if comedy doesn't work out, that if kids arms the corner, I'll go back to the classroom, do phone seven one. And here I am and Gabu Yel. Go and from be like a lock down you. So what is what is comedy to an older person? Did she already know like what is it in general? Yes, and when the Kumla and Tam Dando goes in event and a puppy show that our mama, Nam Sanjo must come and watch me because I've got jokes and things like now. So yeah, she she wapele itana show me comedy and I always say gandem kumbu luma mama bensi kono wana pefu ma pina she would call me tumdana mu kubenja she would never miss it yeah but yeah but the kubenja yeah and you were telling me what um she passed on last year yes and you struggled to go back to stage yeah. what was the relationship like between you and her oh mama man ish mama and people don't know what mama was actually funny man but someone that is is the funny one. Only funny Jean. My mom was very funny. And again, I'm saying Jean was like his means. Uh, it was difficult, not necessarily to go back on stage, but to to be creative. I couldn't even think creatively for. Yeah. In fact, I always say in Lady Lobana, even my mom, I think after I saw the gile for about three weeks, then I believe both so legally. Even now only bone coffee next says I'm gonna I think Londole young later it carried me and I went back and pinned Abuela back to reality by Abolum Dumgil. She was one of those. Yeah, mm. yeah. That's it. Must be very difficult to to deal with the loss as a creative person. Yeah, I find it very difficult to create whenever there's some inconvenience. We're minor. Su- we're supposed to start working on pre-production last year October. Yeah. In Angel has planning. I and she, I've got these two business partners for a company later. We're planning about so long October seven, but Mama so long July, but October and that go work. I say, gonna sit the next year January. Yeah, it was that bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's quite a long time because July. Usually, <laughs> unfortunately, it's in the band buses like like people who work nine to five. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you deal with it in three days. Mm. Like, yeah, three days no leave, deal no with it. Seven, yeah. I go 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 zima with. Yeah. Um. It's interesting because I want to explore that that this idea of living teaching uh-huh. for comedy. How long had you been teaching? Did you enjoy it? Why did you go into teaching in the first place? I was a teacher and that is a teacher five years because now is a teaching, but the dancing echo that into it. But now I don't know why now I And then the shala, I think shala for about eight nine years good teaching. And then I feel good, you know, I can't do it anymore. And in the comedy, even as I was feeling good, I'm done with teaching, but I did not know what to do. The one I must know is the comedy through in the advertisements of Tell, so you think you're funny. Oh, so you think you're funny, yeah. Yes, I'm going to have a lens. Was it by Fanta or something? Yes, yes. And I'm going to have a lens. And it was nice because I'm going to talk about the funny. I'm going to talk about the if you think you are funny. Yeah, so, what yeah. about funny? Yeah. At least I thought I was funny. I was on higher power. And I did so well. It did so well. That put my top six a competition. And, and I'd never touched a microphone before. And then I went to my friends. So they're going, okay, let me just pursue this thing further. Now, because I've been Lula for two years now. I was just enjoying the dark. Yeah. Like, the comedian, but the comedian, because, and came like, most comedians, the people are going to open mics here and yeah. there. Yeah, because you have to put your name out there. Yes. And the comedy, I was so inexperienced in comedy, but I thought that if you buy material and I perform an amplange, I can't perform it again. Oh, so I think about the band woman doing a new song up in the because I'm coming now, and yeah. not thinking about him. And this is the one audience and mm, different that, people. Mm, then let's go on one to book. Okay, begin number of days. I did joke, it means I'm being a pin. This pity jokes. So it was just me doing it, doing it in a background. Yeah, I think Sammy, if then cool, they hout in. You're good, done by filmmaker, actually. Yeah, because I sort of always wanted to do my bangers and eat calling up in the film for sure. Mm. And and when you when you were teaching, um. What exactly was that experience for you? Teaching children? Were you able to deal with them? Did you go to work <gasps> every day thinking, f*** this sh-? <laughs> First two, three years, I was enjoying it, but I was say this dark man every day. Mama, you, you, you. To that point, I was like, I'm going to get a little bit of a 
and I'm not the one of a hotel and walk to Tishara, get break by and then every day and Tisha get break when you're Kai. Chicken men, you can't eat your social imkil, and then late, but when late is a few late in a break. As on and then you're called with teaching, man. I felt good. I know I'm not doing justice now, but let me just. Yeah, what did you learn about kids? Um, in that in that period, um, kids can be very funny, but mm-hmm. they can be very rude and mean. Yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. kids, hey kids, they can be funny. Yes, they can be rude. They can. Be, the Kumbula, there was this other kid. Wow, I'm. When I went to the I used to and I was going to the park. I was going to the park. I was going to the park. I July, August, August, September, September. Oh, I'm going to walk. I'm going So, low figures around the world over lap. They're more like they're mass like they're mass German. The things can ask them over lap, you boop. I can't run away. I can't go up to make them tell like I'm south, south, and tell over lap was a boy. Even a tattoo stool, a salapa, a young German teacher, a face a lay. They're going to do some more and some fundis and some fundis and going off fundis. They're going to okay. Because I know class, I know I am good way, and because I jokes as teeth. So I pencil jokes and guy, and it's a one away, and a melon with old Melba, who's a long alarm at Losho Mandela, because you are one a galant, but in Doyako, ya are a melon, because school leg, I'm saying, and we waste on upper class, because as fun and good leg. So I'm going to slag away, and I can go. So I'm going to go to the class in a poom, and again, and again, I go to the poom. Why, why, and I want to say this, and I was going to be pitted, pitted, and go comrade, sell a pansy to fund it. So, you then you're not fund a glass and bar. So sweet, like I'm saying, so faga, too fucking says, Yako, Glendo, like, so, don't get emotionally involved. Tet a message, you pummy, because come on, what emotionally involved? Who's so cool? Yeah, I was dealing with the parents. I try as a parent, my daughter just came in now. Mm-hmm. Um, and the school's like a kilometer away from here, it's not far. Mm-hmm. Um, and I try as much as I can with her mother, like, to not be too involved. I don't mm-hmm. write messages to teachers. Mm-hmm. I think that if I can see that she's well adjusted and I ask questions, she's cool. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, your shirt is still intact. Your uniform is intact. Mm-hmm. Everything is cool. So mm-hmm. I don't want to be involved. Mm-hmm. But then there are parents that I know want to see the teacher almost every day. Mm-hmm. Um, I know in the Eastern Cape it's, it's different. The parents might not be Karens as much. Yeah. How was it though like to deal with the parents? I could be well. Well. Yeah, it's but it's not meeting. I but trouble some kind of source of man was Albab. Who's of man of a good one by Yan was a kind of a background. You was back from Kata, look and your hands are like born and so on born. It was like that some before, even as a letter to Nigabazali, they don't even get them because good talk with meeting Nabazal go to the next meeting will bring it at 18. So parents know, but it was like easy. I asked by Nobaku, some of my son, they don't even know, but no meeting. Yeah. Omnia no boozy, I'll make a bag with a meeting in Yenza Ganalea, Sigomias as Kaugelas of meeting in your school. Udo Tesan don't I? My mother probably went to like three, like you, you, school of summer from grade R to grade 12. Mm-hmm. That's 13 years. Mm-hmm. My mother probably went three times and now, yeah, so she doesn't care. <laughs> <laughs> like she probably went three or four Ooh, times. Like she, why she, yeah. uh, she never, she, she went grade one because she had to go and take the report. Mm-hmm. So the whole year you're not there. But go fetch report because they can't give it to kids, and maybe grade R, mm. and once in grade twelve, and that's it. Like she was like, ah, "You'll be okay." So I was like, "Hey, hey, hey, go and go and buy two shirts, man. Basically, go and buy because it's not just I will call accountable only to the parents. Even another class, the principal, I go and buy. Tell them that I fail. Yeah. And they go now. Yeah, boy, no go and say do that because because I'm school. Even yo. But yeah, but in the end, I'm going to pay a tin more salary class. And for now, I'm going to try to swallow. I'm going to cope and balance. I'm going to line in. No tanners. It was so strenuous, man. We can't even make cushy cushy ayers, but we can't land and go. For now, we're fighting. We're being late. The banners was boy. Sure. No, but for now, we're land every day. So there was this. Now, by motivation, I'm going to go now. Yeah. Is it? Is it? How does? How do people get out of that? Because I suppose I think a lot of people are in jobs that they don't like. Mm-hmm. A lot of people. Mm. Um, a lot, a lot. Just before I did the things that I'm doing now creatively, mm-hmm. I was in a job that I didn't like, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. I stuck. I was stuck there for six years before I got out of it. Mm-hmm. So I get it. Like people get stuck in that. Do you think there's a majority of teachers who don't want to do that? And how do <sighs> they get out of that? It teachers and ev- almost everyone in child. Yeah. I police station, is this your ideal job? <laughs> but we get to that point. Man, I can't man. 
and so we can happen in the pang. And I think we didn't even have enough of those career guidance um sessions not I think you could you could still have the career guidance but still people because of Indlala mm-hmm. people will still be stuck in jobs that they don't like even if you have a career guidance Yeah and I wonder if you can't understand I but for back one matter na ibang audition Hey but in a job here here Yeah, yeah, like I don't know how to get out, but I, I always say, "Mna, no, that that for my husband, I'm not for my husband," because I didn't even know God, 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 Ngezi ndona yenza uphuma ngena idea bandi yaphi. Nani yo try and at least bana something solid. And if you want to do those funny comment ka yenza xaleni wethu ubona ukuphathatha bhi nangabe. Like I'm saying na for two years then ngena mali. Yeah. Back to ngabe na mali, back to uxhomeke kuba mama kha nithumela imali. But I knew ukuthi nzo iphusha le lwedi sebenzi. If ku so you think you are funny that was your first time carrying a microphone. Mm-hmm. Who gave you structure because jokes are structured. You know how to you know what to open with. Mm-hmm. Even the observation yako is structured. You can't just say Uzuma has a butternut head and that's mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. You make an observation about the things that he said. Ngobana unike i structure because it's different when you joke amongst your friends. Mm-hmm. You can say una makala makulu ngulego or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bo. Mm-hmm. but he, when you're doing it on stage, it has to last for 30 minutes. It must be structured. Who gave you the structure? I didn't even have a structure. So you think you're fun? Uh, and then the way nanga is you comment even Can you believe but throughout so you think you're funny? I never watch other comedians. Danga noba in mic here kwazo ikhupa. Oh from a stand. Na ndani mapha ngo stand. Thetha ngqibe. Kizwe mo. Eh, we are lala. Kizwe mo na sense ka ka sana ibukela. Abantu bayi ikhupa mic manje kwa set. Na ngofika me papungu. Athetha athetha athetha. The way na construction thing ayo yo. But I was lucky because at least content yam even though the content yam was more of some I I did a lot of st- of storytelling. Yeah. Lendo bana ungekho thetha nge ngo junior Kanye and ndidinga imbali ise sasho wadlala ichizwa wadlala into like ndikwazi ukuba ne thetha ngayi ke because uphambo kwale ncwadi junior ungathi ndi to pick it up. Ndibonele ncwadi yakho. So I'm just saying ndifunde After so you think you're funny lord yeah you should have to structure your mm. your your jokes and mm. everything else nerves yo mna do some first two years go me comedy then nga chika nza nza you don't can't perform ngo for so you get the whole day zin nerves it's like how i if like flying you flying sana iqhela ngoku benga kufuna ukufly amna ben book am net depend athi umuntu enza book el flight ethe bra Fine, get past. Fine, get takes. And the moment I understand it, come and the phone can do much pezu the more you na yoga and sunu ikala ngogu plain band chale pants. Then this is chale plain in a nono you. Is all while in don't equal it. Like in nerves, I think some because in nerves in those arm or what, but in comedy now in the even in this book, chale pants nono you. Now come say kai and come and I can see good band in nerves right through performance. So I didn't have like the like, freedom now ngoku le uba ni stage in Tete and the Jongba who is there in Tete and I know was Yeah I saw I saw one of your performances go band to our um shout out to Kakhesole Dikha mm-hmm. uh, for that beautiful show I oh. I really loved that show and I saw you performing there and it was a beautiful performance mm-hmm. um it was hilarious mm-hmm. but I could still sense that there's some nerves there Yo! but the thing is like there's there's it's a weapon to be funny mm-hmm. what you don't understand is that maybe you you understand it now mm-hmm. to be funny is a weapon that as soon as you can make people laugh mm-hmm. you don't have to be nervous mm-hmm. as soon as you can talk and people yes. laugh yes uh, ah it doesn't matter and i wanted to say go ngoku nibuza ibani shimene into structure bebe 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 fika pa bas 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 mentorisha o o loyiso gola would come okay nice one bas tsale liba enzani so 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 danga vana ba thini mne because bebe fika just before your performance in nerves been in as since morning because bebe khona but what they said exactly and say kumbul but i remember one thing i can't remember when we were comedy nyati you can't be on stage for 15 seconds and be ngahleki yeah. that one ndai gcina ke ba at least have this joke to crack i into i say yakho and then the ice breaker okay. yakho at ice the break. beginning yes, yes. that's the thing like it's such a beautiful weapon i wish i was funny mm-hmm. because i know that you know when when you when you drove in and mm-hmm. i opened the gate for mm-hmm. you 
I was already smiling because <laughs> I was remembering the video that I was okay. watching. Okay. Like, yeah, okay. Okay. I'm looking forward mm-hmm. to. You. I know that there's pressure on comedians to always be funny. Mm-hmm. I don't want to always be funny, but I was like, oh, okay. I, I okay. Really know that. Okay. Here's okay. a funny person. Mm, and people think that yeah, we are funny all the t- funny all the time. Not even like what even now when I stress like go like we're going to go to the dance and lose lose my mom. Come on, one time there when you shop, then you take your hose pipe. That you had to wear shop. Then the part you. And the house got in and the song in the color part because I just yeah and then the color like but okay the thing with mama I'm just mad because and people are coming to me but fun and joking I'm like hey I'm not born like I'm not in that space oh my god come on one time young and you mean just different the matron with the ATM fun throw him out so the son ending out just feels like oh because I I'm not always in this mood but fun and be cool so who's a cool mood hi ban bani hey I'm just like come on on screen name and then. I am trying to cause some din and I'm to some seven but not part of band who figure and flex around, but I'm not only doing woman that cobble and numb. I've got days and one I'm slang. I don't see anything for an animal mm-hmm. because of law, Ubu Banja band, mm-hmm. and then and, and someone wanted to say something that they remember from content. Mm-hmm. The young man, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I really mm-hmm. like, I'm like, okay, Leah, Belong. I know. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. They don't even notice you, but um, and I wonder why I understand my corner from Pagamil. We have been like a natty dalane. The son of Figure Houtin. They say excited to bona if he celebrities. So I'm gonna go the bonu ye. F four is only so excited. Them bullies. Can you photo now? What come? Thank you, good. It was a restaurant. Oh, he's eating. Oh, pass a message. Why you go? 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 Why you Land now before you can understand. And all is a is a dif- is a is a is a decision to make for 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 someone who does who does public work. A mm-hmm. mall is a decision to make. I was with Uto Villagaz um, yesterday, and we're driving and coming from a game, and I'm with him and his son, and mm-hmm. I'm like, let's go to the garage. We need to we drop some money, mm-hmm. um, and then we buy a couple of things as well there. And everyone stops like they they stop shopping mm-hmm. and they like, hey, it's so hey, my mm-hmm. brother and all mm-hmm. of that, mm-hmm. and I'm like. I said to so this is why a mall is a decision for mm-hmm. me because mm-hmm. me and I would rather be inside my house and not talk to anyone mm-hmm. uh, but you have to break out of that because I'm nice to people like yo what's happening mm-hmm. you're mm-hmm. good blah 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 but a mall people don't understand a mall is a decision to make it's like Diego Epingo which one should I pick because that's what I'm saying like mm-hmm. the one in Fente I know somewhere here Yabelung mm-hmm. there there are Africans and white people that I live with and they are there and I'm like okay I can I can hang out there but another mall where you like and people don't understand okay? I don't mind what I hate is when ubi zabanya bandu nangu yun kondo olo mtu ngosea this happened is all is all on the agwenyi mall still so on this the faki hood yam the faki nesu specs I'm gonna slam um so in lap between the aisles and rotten doors and bala and ganga band bone that had no di funa. So low you want, what is? Some of the people going click click on click 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 supermarket. Oh, no, it's fishy. No, 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 no. And band bone and right after it was fishy. I'm so sad. I'm so bad. Now you realize it's fishy, but couldn't see him. But yeah, but it's not. I mean, it's a nice life problem. Anyways, it's not a. It's not like oh, they spend hundred every day. It's not a. It's not a difficult. It's not as difficult as that. It's a nice life. But I'm calling you as Bamnand. Oh, Kalo, if I'm a fan, book man, you, Bagulis, yes, I've, I've arrived. Yay, yeah, I've arrived. Good song, Abagar. Yay, and then. <laughs> and then, in a pen. <laughs> Yeah, but it's nice, guys. We'll send Manasia and Joey Bullies. It, 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 you need validation. Mm, yeah, well, mm, sometimes mm. you're feeling yourself. You're like, oh, okay, nice one. And then sometimes, like, ah. That's sh- then, you get actually COVID. No, COVID is on Fumanam. Because Nango, Gapa, and Mask Bag, born in my phone, for the still, but I'm not. Yeah. The Indian I am, the fame is any. Look for one. But here. What would you describe as your. Mo- the role that gave you most exposure to an audience what what role was it um i know you were telling me about the ses topla i remember seeing you mm-hmm. guys shooting mm-hmm. with ses topla mm-hmm. and that's sabc one mm-hmm. sabc one has millions of people mm-hmm. free to air mm-hmm. um would you say that that's the role or which role was I it i le gas le gas scandal 
mama mama tuna u dambisa aya leyo e we also stop like they used to watch but zanga ifumana i reaction and engolo la hlobo ufansa abantu they just tell you ukuthi hayi na we hate you ndizo njalo sure yeah, and think, how, did, how did that come about like with women njani were you auditioning did you have any expectations before you get the lega like, scandal and that to your lunch go mtu whatsapp what so we call the whatsapp circulator they are looking for this kind of a person sorry so nda nda aya no audition and nalo mtu nalo owner ele agency that bana ngalo mhlambi a few days before that what that you know design no audition and i was lucky ba vele bana thatha yeah and and do you maybe you you'll figure this out as as time goes along if you haven't picked it up now do you have do you feel one way or the other about a uh, role or your way for man as a closer woman with a certain sound of voice i want to say she's always pigeonholed into one role or mm-hmm. the other she's a cleaner mm-hmm. but she's also loud i want to soon bam 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 all of that stuff yeah but do you mm. have you know have you picked it up with you that maybe you might be boxed into a certain character i have uh, like i'm nage ndidla ngothi mhlambi ke ndizi box up because all those roles okay ngaphana usa stop la they called me ufansa le role ndiyenzile as a cleaner and in the more ile opaya but i i think you volunteered for yes, it yes and in the end i want to do that role and and i think also sengqondo and amasa libukele when you move ngona yena sana ithatela role yobu clean up i think yeah yeah ngena hapha kuwe yeah but i wouldn't say boxed as such but there is an element of of, of box yeah mm. because usually like with 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 closer women specifically and i picked this up because i am mm-hmm. um and it will be a promiscuous woman who is a home breaker mm-hmm. uh, even though i don't watch south african film or films in general mm-hmm. um i love content when mm-hmm. when it catches my eye and whenever you see it with a closer woman she's a home wrecker mm-hmm. or whatever like it's like yo just give us a different role now like we know that there are home wreckers who happen to be closer and also there is element of some producers namni bon lapha kum we write certain rules with someone in mind oh, okay for say you lay role like of course this role that and then he ball has le they can nungu musweetele because of writing for me mm tsabe ntana i two days but when i wrote this role for you i had you in mind and ball role so i think that indian zeg they just had hand you but we've got a role for you yeah imagine um eh uh, u israel zulu ukuthi hey. he's been such a thug mm, for so long that mm, mm, and he has bang was by time okanye uh, umuntu mm. wecawe or something and like then kwenye wabanye ngumfundisi kwenye but sibe ngumfundisi ongutsotsi ongutsotsi the must be it's also yeah, element too yeah. i wonder i wonder if i think maybe he, he, he challenge your believability mm-hmm. like we we believe that he's a thug uh-huh, we've uh-huh. we've now been conditioned since i was at 11 years old kwizo izo mm. i saw him as a thug Mm-hmm. and i've seen him as a thug got so it's in agobane i believe that he is a thug so and now and i'm sure for thug roles yeah mm-hmm. and it's like now how do you make him a gay man for example mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and how do i believe that as 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 a consumer of that product yeah yeah yeah, yeah i get what you're saying and about gay man as well uh, well is a great actor ngabe yeah i'm telling you great actors will surprise you if you look at Warren Masemula is gay yeah, yeah, yeah. stop la but i've seen him made thug somewhere i think angaba yeah, you gay man yeah if you if you good mm, enough mm, yeah i think as an actor you must be versatile yeah back back up you must and he, he, so you've done so stop la scandal and then you've done you, uh, someone is telling me that you on show max there was especially you did on show max it's a comedy it's a like comedy special, yeah. Mm. yeah a comedy special as well so mm-hmm. which one is like well it's a stupid question to ask because song is a song but mm-hmm. what is your focus mainly on acting or a comedy i love comedy i love stand up tena ka ku stand up but eh uh, I, i don't want to do into one because when kill you comedy you know, dry gigs for a month like lo nyaka mpevume only once so if i can do something else let me do it but ku film like i'm saying i want to be a producer and full producer more than ug actor itself ug actor and yeah just for money okya tuma ni nya ikutya nya imali ndike but i want to be a producer yeah and um is, how is the comedy landscape in south africa like if you don't have a profile when on i because you've done acting people know you mm-hmm. but if umuntu nje Uh, song goes from Anjan. How do you get your bread as a comedy and you are an unknown? Maybe think back to your journey at mm-hmm. the beginning which you spent two years without any solid gigs. How do you get gigs? Do you need an agent? Hey, do, I could I don't need an agent per se. The agent you need a for corporate gigs if you want if you want to. but where's is the clubs? You just go there. Most of the time 
we go for open mic ukuthi so i can do this yo perform there bakubona abanye bona sibe kubiza the only way up in south africa is to just go and do open mic sessions go to comedy clubs ask people to book book you ask about some perform mahala and then you take it from, they take it from their born Yeah, in language barrier you want to South Africa. Um those born us in Popo performer also not was to performer. I think I don't in Popo. Cuz we did we even do our you you did it in English. Mm-hmm. And I, I, you see like when <laughs> if you can be hilarious in your own language plus mm-hmm. English mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. like a different level of being funny. Yeah, see abu ya got a come come in Popo. Eh got got a conda ukuthwa hi Maru. Maru la sana, yes Maru la sana. Maru la sana kasi na sana. Yo 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 yo. Kulapho iko iko as a comedian ubufike wa tubu siyabulala macha uxa uthi wenza kahle so say you kill yes ibufike wa bulala emorula san then you are just by funny yo that place was what is it about the is it the ngamama ngamabhulu or no ngimane ukuthi yeah kha wana bazela nga comedy i believe because bebe nga batali and yaka zuphefela umuntu akakujonga nokujonga ubhizu yasela uze ngomva uya bona but they don't even aware ubukhona uzazi wena uya bona umuntu sele phaka ama price yakho nyikona aphini ubona wathi sele wani bekujonga ubhizu that time ya perform so i think yo indawo sinjalo emorula elimpopo ke shoma bakucela straight bafune mapedi uya yapha uyo performer e khona ekhasini se se pulukwana yo nalapho yo I think it's understandable like I would never if if I want to do something to open for, for for my people mm-hmm, there mm-hmm. Uh, there's like 500,000 people there you can get a venue to get 10,000 people in there mm-hmm. I would prefer that they understand the language because they're sophisticated abantu mm-hmm, basenyanga mm-hmm. not that educated mm-hmm. so they will only understand the people they understand the language that they mm-hmm, speak mm-hmm. yeah well, so when you are in Limpopo you should expect to they will understand abo mashabela nabo ashifa shaba and stuff like that's mm-hmm. understandable mm-hmm. Uh, that's a, it, which is that's a challenge in the south african context but we don't speak one language we speak multiple languages and you know what you, if you go to durban they might understand you but they zulu na a mm-hmm. zulu person mm-hmm. if they go to eastern cape we will laugh and understand the jokes but we not we don't really understand your language and now nendo zenzakayo zaphaka and you don't know ba indoni that triggers their fence ukubona uhlamba kwazi ngalo topic ya gandhi not their cup of tea funa kuyazi ba bathetha bathethe What can you talk about acceptable app? like a local politician mm-hmm, or mm-hmm. something that they love local mm-hmm, musicians mm-hmm. and all of that stuff by amaz king munada ngabase limpopo if you don't know when king munada and the fact that he has two wives and the fact that maybe uh, mm-hmm. something hilarious happened mm-hmm. to him and mm-hmm. they know it but you don't know it yeah well, so it's it's it's, it's an interesting one mm-hmm. to be a comedian in a country like this mm-hmm. but would you say long term you can have a career we comedians of South Africa I know Abalo is so David Kau mm-hmm. um and a lot of comedians have made a career but I think they've kind of had to supplement it by being filmmakers mm-hmm, mm-hmm. they have had to be other things other than just be comedians Yeah you 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 have to you know you must spread actually you must spread even Kau has done films at some stage yes. Yes. you must spread because you as an industry a, a big enough to for you to perform week in and week out week in and week out and make good money mm. because you want to make money at Kabilin. So if you're making money just to survive, it's not enough. You need to ungena ngena. Yeah. And think of Bahle kanjana abantu abalambayo. You see like they they can't, so I was thinking this how could you become a, a, a comedian in an extremely so South Africa is bad. Like mm-hmm. I, there's no extreme po- there is extreme poverty in parts but not mm-hmm. general. Mm-hmm. But was a top here and you have to buy food. I'm sure it's difficult being a stand up comedian there. Mm, and also people don't even think it's worth it to spend your to spend money, money on 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 comedy. On, on comedy. On comedy. But what I've noticed okay, because I've performed around in South Africa, wa Botswana, boma Mozambique, boma Zimbabwe. What I've noticed that hey ban ban bai bukele TV South Africa ban bapha. Yes. I used to worry a lot about if I talk about someone on generations will they know? I know these people know actually. And what is interesting is that like on Swaziland e comedians up here they joke about all zoom and i'm like guy boy guys king then i'm talking or king when i and i feel good ah, no i don't like it galo no 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 comedians they do i mean the, the politicians they do okay. because i think pago strict pal it's a li- i was about to say yeah. it's a life threatening situation to make jokes If, about king muswati <laughs> and just figure pass yeah please nothing about king muswati yeah no so politics I, no king muswati but still i don't like it galo wa vele politicians it is not as it's no more nangas yeah talk about mhlobo wenene um there's something that you're doing there eh mhlobo wenene every friday at 20 past 
They were on air for about 10 minutes. Just in the, I'm, I'm the rapper up in those week, but what was going on? Where? So you're in QPEXN? QPEXN, yes. uh, 20 yeah, past 7 a.m. Yeah, breakfast like saying. Nice one, nice one. <laughs> yeah, so in the corner, pa, so in the 10 minutes, and I have to make sure that young in the ends are in a, in a funny way. Okay, I was about to say, like, do you feel the, mm. the, the pressure to be funny? Not necessarily pressure. I know I'm there as a comedian. They didn't ask who to be. But he's all comedian. So, I'm so figure guys, I know I have to just, how can I make it funny? Yeah. Aha. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Um, I need to wrap it up then with you. Um, are we done now? Uh, that was too quick. Well, <laughs> if we are not done, we are not done. <laughs> That was too quick is something that you would have said to someone <laughs> at some point in your mm-hmm, life. Mm-hmm. Have you ever said that? That was too quick. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I would never said it. Some I've thought about it in London. Yeah. Uh, some I would have killed that person's moral. <laughs> <laughs> that was too quick. Uh, uh, but actually, that's why I said about my manager. Yeah, it I was think. It was a I was a cowlip. This is the beauty about YouTube. I scrapped it. Oh, okay. She got up. I can you are not safe. Begin that thing. I look back. The criminal man who fell out. I'm a police. I go to engaging in social activities. Man, really videos. Who can you fell out? Fuck up, pusso. You're a criminal. Mm-hmm. On the other hand, safe layer. There was a gun nearby. Oh, I go mnandi. So. Let's talk about shooting. I have this desire. I told this to um to in Buso Bakab San Gondon Yamun Yam Liban. Uh filmmaker. Um Ufensa Mwasa. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. So I, I said it to him that I really would, would like to do films, but maybe in two years, because I'm busy with the stuff that I'm doing now every day. Um and I was when you told me about what you're doing, I was so excited because I like asking questions and, and get experience from other people. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um not everyone is aware that when you're shooting films, it takes you the whole freaking day for two months, sometimes yeah. for three months. What are you going through now as you're shooting? Right now, I shoot is a second pre production, but from my experience, I'm shooting that thing can drag. And people they don't understand by la, la episode by Bugella over 30 minutes and with as in between, you're shoot up for the whole day, yeah. And quick, quick, quick production is as serious. And you in a rehearsal and you shoot. And then you go to first take, second take, third take, because they look for the best. Yeah. Because they'll take the best. So, it's it's a lot of time. Even a 30-second advert on TV is strenuous because you mm-hmm. needed it to be there from like 5 a.m. until 6 p.m. Now, you shoot up for the whole day. Yeah. You shoot up for the whole day. But yeah. So, but you come to terms with the song, like you come to terms with the fact that the ayake. Because mm. me and I was like, I don't want to do this. Like, the last time I was given money to do it, it was dope money for a day's work. Mm-hmm. A lot of money for mm-hmm. a day's work. But I came home with my shoes in my hand and I said, mm-hmm. I'm not going to do this again. Mm. But I, think, I believe good novellas, no one shoots every day. Okay. I think because there are storylines, storylines. But for three days, but you'll get your rest. Mm. At finish in a movie, like a short film, we don't have that time. It was only get, it was for your days and so seven and hour. A mean tilip because one other thing, a lot of filmmakers they need to save money. How far they give you young sins, yeah, yeah. So it's it's good, it's good money, but not that good, but it's good money and. But it's a lot of work. Yeah, and your plans is to sell your what you're shooting now, your movie. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You, you're gonna sell it. How does one go about doing that? Yeah. So sing working goes in and you've done it. Um it's done. Um when you are done, obviously. Mm-hmm. What do you do next? 
you you approach your channels you know, you know about funisa ko channel and some channels go funa kuba uyamas you know someone who sold the movie yake pass so sure. say can you just say i'm funting so yam yeah that's how i'm going about ngi yam immediately you say kuba we talk about you talk to people bakho na baba insa tsena nabo ngoku who have already sold their movies who are willing to help ba Oh, so so we give you even an idea of figures as well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, okay, this is if How they are going to be short changing you, yeah, mm-hmm, if they yeah. they cost you this much. Mm-hmm. So at the beginning you so the in, the investment and the risk is absorbed by you yes. because there's always a chance that they're not going to buy it. Mm-hmm. They're not yeah. going to buy that story. Yes. So you pay your own people. You pay yes, you pay like my friends and I we decided let's just raise money, let's shoot our movie because if we don't start And go go for the film industry get experience counts even when you ask for funds what was what have you done yeah. so if yes you have got something a solid engine that you have done igniter for you to to be able to get assistance yeah i struggle with scripts i don't know why like i have the idea of a movie in my head and i write it and mm. i've written a few things short films but i struggle with scripts um i struggle with telling people what to say although i want to describe to them what You are walking into this room, Gukoi uh, Sangoma, and he's trying to heal you, but there's a yellow python coming in mm-hmm. um, all of a sudden as he's trying to heal you. You open your eyes, you see this python, you freak out. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you get the hell out of there. As you are getting out, there's a midget man at the door as you're opening it. Mm-hmm. Now, you are freaked out. Do you want to go back inside or you want to go outside because a midget man looking scary? Mm-hmm, but you need to mm-hmm, go back mm-hmm. you, you think ah, do i go back inside because it's a python mm-hmm. that's yellow and it's following uh-huh, you around uh-huh. now i'm graphically designing it i'm screen writing it mm-hmm, screenplay mm-hmm. um designing the screenplay of it mm-hmm. but i really don't want to i i know i have to do it mm-hmm. but i don't want to put the words in the mouths of the actors eh uh, but that's probably that's the right way to do it funoku funoku i bala script umuntu funaka fuma ni lines like so zibalile what this is what they have to say but a friend of mine in seven and i like movie am what ukuthe kumingxaki yamuna when i can't say your problem is that you want to to write you want to direct there are things that you leave to the director le uba uza ungena athini if uza ungena uva si director nyizi ndibuka sense ungazibhalanga like this but yena uyabona for this situation make the so 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 don't wait to keep to write be free to write leave the rest to the director yeah you yeah. and you're comfortable with that i don't know if I, i'm such a control freak creatively that i don't know if i'm going to be comfortable like something that i'm producing independently and mm-hmm. i know it's my baby i know you worked with partners uh-huh. if i know i spent 300,000 to pay for this i would really like to be hands on unless i get someone that i really trust that okay direct again but i still you want direct as well yeah yeah get your muscle i'm trying to get a voice from you no no you can't do everything yeah. no no and you know what ukusebe na bantu kwenza better because omnyuz are into kangu ibone especially abantu ba experience go direct sure. they will show you stuff but it could be better kangu no better kangu hlobo just accept by as a person you can't be your son yeah someone must coach someone must someone own must the be team an owner, someone yeah must drive because the bus. yeah you can't drive the bus <laughs> and you are uh, 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 uh. Well, as you go show chances. Yeah. Mm. And and what's what what's the timelines that you're predicting into how long do you think it will it, it will take for you to shoot? And I'm saying we're talking about this is schedule leo is going to take about 20 days. So 3 weeks not bad. Mm-hmm. That is if the actors say to Ziza they bring their A game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I want to tell you I can tell you that it's a very nice movie. Yeah. I even if I say so myself it's a very nice movie. Yeah. Can we talk about <laughs> and really hype a movie I'll see it when I see it. I'll see it when I see it. But funny people are funny man. I, I try, for some reason I love funny people. Mm-hmm. I mean I love comedy. Mm-hmm. Um especially stand up comedians. I really love them. Mm-hmm. Um who, for you maybe just separate it between South Africa and and the states obviously or international. Mm-hmm. Uh your top 5 South Africa top 5 international. Top South African comedians. Ooh. Yeah. And Betty sang a comedian. <laughs> so far again, my favorite is Sengu Eugene Koza. That's your number one. Yeah, that's my number one. Eh, uh, my number two. There's a guy eh 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 so we to but him Jay Buge. That boy amazing. I've never seen him. Oh, he's very fun. He's Upambe energy. He's yeah, one yeah. of those but there's no topic out of bounds for him. Sure. He's very funny. Ish, 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 ish. You have to include a female. 
a female yeah if you, know, you want to my friend unuku musete yeah she's very funny mhm they are very funny if you imagine because and they some are veterans that you you've like, veterans you've really liked i find Luis Ogola very funny yes sir i, I find him very funny and unala comedy na yake i yeah what man the comedy is school in the comedy i like his brand of comedy yes. because i think that it's not slapstick jokes it's mm-hmm. it's well considered jokes yes corny jokes zoba okay pa ah in the band ranga see say the band ranga ma police and funu my criminal and all of the stuff is like that's slapstick comedy obviously it's not observational but it's funny there's mm-hmm. different levels yes, of funny yes yes um ulo is okola obviously that's model see funny mm-hmm. yeah well, i i i that's my preference but i know people like things that are obviously funny like mm-hmm. i i don't have to think i can see it. this is a funny situation mm-hmm. And I love Uskumba as well. I find yes, him funny. Yes, I find sir. him funny. Unaya keke ndlela na yake go funny wake. Yeah, but na if I had to model a comedy I would love to comedy model it around Eugene Cause and Oliso Gol. Sure. I think those two to be like a, a match between those two. Yes. Can you yes. describe further Eugene Cause? I've seen him once or twice. Uh, what kind of a comedian Ooh, is he? Eugene Cause. One thing and I found I go and galum bukele as a comedian. The sal ingon dami sa isa pite no ba. I comedy ni ipro i joke ni paranjan. Yeah. Ujun Koza can joke about this. The joystick lo. Eh we atetenga yo for twenty minutes. A zella in different angles and keeping it funny, funnier. You know, i kula bu funny ba iba. You don't have to bring twenty jokes to the table. You can bring one joke. And we bet, we bet, we bet. So I've done that hand alone. Okay, quick, 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 comedy. And I was lucky to watch him recently. Um, it, it, it was a lyric theater. When a show go like two months ago or a month ago, not December, and I was, yo, yo, he, he, yo, he's brilliant. And it's okay, I can go. It was a comedy. I was about it more like it. It, it took us through a journey. A mogul and a band of a chat lane, a man of a Married guys and single guys is as special as married guys, as special, special. But towards the end, was a bonus. No matter guys, they don't need chase. I start win. I was a this big man. I think I pesha. It was so nice. There was a story about a lady, clever. but it was so nice. Like you enjoy a Yeah, I, I like that. Like I like a comedic journey. Mm-hmm. A comedic journey. Like uh, I remember Eddie Murphy in one of his stand-up comedies in the late eighties. Uh, I forgot the name of it, the title of it. Um, there's something that it says that his woman says in the um, Uti, you don't you don't own me mm-hmm. i don't see a ring on this finger mm-hmm. so that's like a theme he's, he's doing a comedy doing a comedy 20 minutes in the woman says you don't own me mm-hmm. in his story mm-hmm. uh, i don't see a ring on his finger mm-hmm. and then there's a twist in that story because at some point the woman catches him with another girl mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. she's freaking out mm-hmm. and he twists it and he says you don't own me I don't see a ring on this finger, mm-hmm, and the crowd mm-hmm. goes wild because it's a well considered. Mm-hmm, I'm, mm-hmm, I'm showing mm-hmm, you this mm-hmm. uh, this side of the of the thing, mm-hmm. but I'm going to show you like a completely different side as well. What does it take to do a one man or one woman yeah, show? And the next the third first camera school, Joe Big International Comedy Festival. Yeah. One thing you know, because on the one is special. You can't be telling jokes you told with singing. Yes, yes. People come. F- for fresh content because sure. they've watched you and you want them to come back again. Is ya buya? You write to trim. You know ya pali ya trim and danger ni like yo. We are pali trim part. Im. I come here dike. If it's in you, it's in you. Okay. You have to make sure that you you write something that will captivate the audience because the audience, a bunch of they know. People know good this is my type of comedian this is not my type of comedian so they will come to you your crowd will come they know what to expect from you you cannot let people down so it's about consistency uhlale you must write jokes so that's a banger of an hour yeah or, or it can be an hour you writing a jokes writing jokes ah, it's, it's no, i'm it's, saying like as your one woman show oh, you yeah. must make sure it's a banger of an hour if it lasts for an hour you don't have time you but <sighs> yeah you have to keep them there Yeah. So it's yeah, you know, it's, it's a lot, man. Writing what's what's your process though? Like you said, at some point you you would get at, initially you would get nervous. Twenty mm-hmm. minutes, sorry, two hours, three hours before the show. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm sure now with experience you got over that. Mm-hmm. What happens now, um, creatively? I mean, I sh- I tend to shut people down if I'm gonna do something dope creatively. I don't speak to people like leading up. To, not 
maybe a day before i just want to focus on the thing remember what i'm going to be saying and stuff like that what's your process do you smoke weed do you drink <laughs> uh do <laughs> you <laughs> no you know what i do now <laughs> I'm rehearsing. Yes. Here's one special. I have to write, but a week before the special, I can't be writing anymore. I should be practicing whatever practicing. The material you have. And the nicest thing about that in first one, once you go was prepare early, they get funnier and funnier. Come on, let's rehearse. Yeah. Even I'm going to go in sometimes, but hey. You're Lala on the Thursday night. Come on, I'm not ready, man. For Xasa, you forget saying all three. This drill, this drill that you're using until it's been done for my year. So I, I, I believe preparing early, you get better because you get funnier and funnier and funnier. And guess what? You get on stage, you still grow your joke on stage. No, we saw come I the portion I grab. Yeah, I that, that's what I got when I was listening to Cat Williams. Mm-hmm. I never understood this until he explained it. Would look, you you have a joke that you wrote. Sometimes it's two years old. Mm-hmm. But you refine it. Mm-hmm. You constantly tell it to new crowds with a new twist. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All of a sudden, the uncle you were talking about was a drunkard. In this one, he doesn't have an arm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. And, you, and you, you, we sing a but yeah, man, let me add this angle. You <laughs> nani comment because you don't have to tell the truth. The things we talk. Yes, things we talk with. Yo, jokes I used to tell about my mother. Woo. My mom was his. Um, she was she used to be a, a, a teacher now. She was she was a, the cool like my mom's school principal. So the jokes I tell about her is like oh, mama like oh yeah, 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 yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is not me, but so you're misrepresenting. Because if, if I'm then I, I can't be funny. If nigga, I have to lie a bit. I have to discre- even myself. I have to discredit discre- myself. Who say the guys are funny? But even when the Avengers number hey, guys in the blind detail. I think Kurt Williams, one of his sons, is is in my head mm-hmm. is so dumb that he's slow. Uh-huh. I would be surprised if I see <laughs> a, a normally well adjusted yeah, kid because mm. he always like exaggerate how mm-hmm, dumb he mm-hmm, is. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. When you know that's comedy. We yeah. have when I say it's like it's not like I don't trust the person normal young in. Yeah. Um would you take a show to your to your what was your hometown and would you take it? Um are you dreaming uh, of doing that? Uh uh. I just as a once off. I back here, bam. Hey, would you see? Uh I know Lou. They are trying to queen this a Queenstown, but not would you see. I'll tell you why. There's a guy when I was planning the homecoming I'm a Queen's a Queenstown. At he okay, the the line up was in Ayo. Bring you to Whitley C. I'll pay. People, my people must come for free. Oh. They still don't come. Oh, I get it now. Yeah, I, I go, get it. Imagine going to my Yeah, it's, it's disappointing. That's what it's it's similar to the thing I was saying about in Ethiopia. Mm-hmm. Their priority is to buy bread mm-hmm. with their money mm-hmm. and not go to comedy. And even if you offer them comedy for free, mm-hmm. it's such a foreign concept to them mm-hmm. because they're so bogged down with the idea of Amanzi, mm-hmm. pit mm-hmm. toilets, mm-hmm. umbane. And they have so many challenges at a day-to-day level that they don't even know if there's such a thing called stand-up comedy. So it's like, you look at your Yeah. So no, I don't I even dream. It. Like I don't even dream. Do you call on send it be the No perform for free, but they suppose would they even come? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, but, but it's a, I suppose like maybe it's a life. Let's say it's a lifelong aspiration. Give it. Give yourself a twenty-year target to say one day. Because I'm, I'm I'm a citizen of here now because mm-hmm. I live here in Johannesburg. But in Yang, I'll give them as a Hara show and uh, like as a Ringo. I'll give them a festival. They've never had that. Yeah, I think a music festival, they can come. Shami, oh, comedy is still foreign. Gubo. Yeah. yeah. Now, it's my duty now to make it years. But I think we've done it for four or five years. First year, worked well, but yeah, I pay. Like, and he advertised, but yeah, I don't know. So it's not a lack of advertising. It's not a lack That's of advertising now. Yeah. What are the things um, that you found about the city, Johannesburg? That's Johannesburg. strange. That is not a city of gold. <laughs> There's no gold here. Siphon a song. The only gold in when I let my zinyena band, I buy a faga. 
Eh, I saw a sort of gold sham. But again, there is gold. Yeah. Ultimately, you get it. Yeah, you just have to be patient. Like, I also think there's another gold. There are 11 million people in the Gauteng province. Mm, 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 to give mm, context, mm, mm, it's mm, the smallest mm, province in the country. Yeah. In yeah. case at end, there are 7 million people. Mm hmm. So Gauteng is almost double the number of cases, and even though it's not even maybe twenty five percent of the land size, so we are fighting for resources here. Mm-hmm. And, and I was even if you are going to be Gauteng, that is 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 the I mean Gauteng is a richest province, but hey, the way people are begging, a kaya so do not beg as ganga robot na robot people are begging, but people. <laughs> I love Wom Khel. She's from here, so <laughs> she doesn't like the sound of that. <laughs> <laughs> people beg it, Joe Beg. Yeah, people beg. Every robot. And people are blind. I'm not a bony, I'm not gonna do now. Abbot one who might join a sun. Let's rope on me. Majin a sun. Why is a gandon? People are losing their eyesight, Shem. Joe Beg. Of course, when you find it as a young man, yeah. Um mm. Depending on the day that you mm-hmm. see him, mm-hmm. his arm is not working. Eh? Yeah, well, so on other days it's working, on other days it's not working. He's a disabled person every now and then. Mm-hmm. Some days he is, some days he's not. But now nah, he's hustling. Uh-huh. I think for me, like the, the, the thing that jumped out for me is the aggression of the people. Um, uh-huh. Like uh, the way in which we deal with each other. Um, it's a strategy, road rage. Uh, road rage and even at work mm-hmm. I'm like if you guys were in another province people would like the way that you are and stuff like that but if you work hard mm-hmm. enough mm-hmm. this is a place for money but yeah. there are other things about it oh yeah the other thing that jumps out is people have very huge cars here mm-hmm. people drive very huge cars where I come from in Cape Town there are rich people mm-hmm. but yeah man you don't re- you really see I don't know whether they're trying to compensate for their small genitalia I don't know <laughs> But people, but there must people, be something big. Ah, you can't do anything. Go here. That's why I'm not pretending. But when when go, yeah, but it's like it's, it's, it's symbolic of the fact mm. that there's something. Can't wait for me to tell you about the video kumbul about the Gauteng as well. No, so pretend kumbul. They have big cars, people from here. Yeah, they. I've never seen cars as big as theirs. And one time I invited a guest here, and my gate is big enough. Mm-hmm. But their car struggled to get in. Yo, yo, their yo, car yo, yo, struggled yo. to get in. I think on a big car, for when I need to look just for small trips. So I was like, was I tetago comedy? Oh no, Benzo, what I've also noticed in Dubana, I don't figure car you. Okay, so bored, but never can mean. I can't even see my Like, yeah, you yeah, want yeah, to get yeah. somewhere? People are aggressive. As yeah, well, well. a car, yeah. you, you, you. When you can mean, the town, come the Cuba, you know, mm. yeah, 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 um, I don't, I, that's one one of the things that I wish not to carry from here because I'm not going to stay here forever hopefully in five years I'm not here hopefully hopefully mm-hmm. if I have to go enough, back to Cape Town I'm going to build a farm in the Eastern Cape if okay. I if, or somewhere in George okay. in, in the Winelands if I went if okay. I go back to a, a Western Cape in the Winelands I don't want to live a normal uh, suburban location life I want to live as a farmer like having workers like 10-15 workers why you want is it oh you're talented you're farming not uh, or is it matter of, of uh, I wanna I, I I wanna I wanna relax. Like uh, my life oh. has been very difficult at the beginning, and I've had to work for everything. Now I wanna work, make so much money that between the ages of forty until I die, mm-hmm. I literally just in, in a farm. I can see you go to. That's hilarious. <laughs> like okay. you have to plan these things. Mm-hmm. I, I yeah. wanna. I want to eat food that I know I killed myself. Mm-hmm. Um, I want to see what oh, all the carpet and all of that, mm-hmm. and also like being able to breathe air and hear sounds that is mm. not a, a, a long issue. Because mm. I I grew up in Cape Town townships and now I'm in Joburg suburbs. Mm-hmm. It's still the same thing as the hustle and bustle mm-hmm. of the chase mm-hmm. all the time. Mm-hmm. It's unhealthy. The one thing I thought I I, I told myself I don't want to inherit is the aggression um, and this idea of whenever you talk to people you want an angle. People from Joburg want an angle. Your, their mm-hmm. friendship to you is related to what you have and stuff mm-hmm. like that. And it's difficult to have relations with people uh, like that because it's like you are always be on guard now. But oh, mm-hmm. and stuff. Mm-hmm. You can't be like just a friend. Yeah, but we need those networks, bro. 
I, it's, it's, that's a different thing. Ish. Yeah, it's, ne- a, it's a different thing. Networks plus people mm-hmm. looking for an angle. Okay. People who are going to give you a phone call just because you have an, a podcast and they want their friend to be on a podcast mm-hmm, mm-hmm. or they want you to be on Itisky TV and or they want money. It's like, ah, you were so nice last week. Mm-hmm. Gandhi, you were working towards this, this thing. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So it's, it's, but when do you find, you, you found it easy to adjust here? Yeah? Like it wasn't difficult for you? It was a bit difficult. Because I was looking Nam I was looking for angles, but who can take me to the next level? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, but ultimately I just steal it, but it was not easy. Yeah. So the weekly so weekly sister C one, remember? <laughs> I you can book chone leng up and up, so C one and now all of a sudden net building this in the first guam. So it was not easy, but Yeah. Mm. All right. So we're looking out for before we let you go. We're looking out for a comedy special. Mm-hmm. Um this year. And thirty first March. Yeah, thirty first Emperor's March. Palace. Um and then Superwoman, that's the title of the of the Oh the yes, track. yes, now that you mention it. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay, this is not criticism, it's an observation. Mm-hmm. The small amount of shows that I've attended uh-huh. is a comedy because I watch comedy online mm-hmm. and in the comfort of my own home. The ones that I've attended live, my observation is that the female comedians talk a lot about their genitalia. Um, it's nice content i, I like it <laughs> uh-huh. but there's a point where it's like I, i've heard you say this so many times um and i think it's universal globally i think it's mm-hmm. like we are conditioning female comedians to talk about mm-hmm. like they actually they, yeah that in that yeah. i i don't have such content like i told you nanfuna generations to come and cool yes <laughs> yeah no i don't have such content i'm not just come to my show the, but there's uh we'll make an arrangement to do so mm. uh, i'm taking the challenge uh-huh. uh, i'm just saying there's nothing wrong with doing it no? i'm just co- saying ne, uh, it, it looks like bad trained female comedians too that's the one like female rappers my this my body that mm. like mm. there's nothing wrong with it i love Nicki minaj in mm-hmm. fact she has one of the um coldest lines a uh, good moment for life there's a co- song called moment for life mm-hmm. that the way she opens it it's so beautiful like i'm like oh wow i've never heard something like this before so she has one of my favorite verses on a hip-hop song and i'm a big hip-hop fan mm-hmm. so there's nothing wrong with that kind of thing but it's like so the thing is like i don't on a public platform, I always say, land you ambi ambi ambi, bene laziness, to laziness to write. Because it's jokes, it's fun, and people laugh. Yeah. If you want to go, go funu pume kale, you have to really make sure that, you have to really make sure that, land you chate is double funny, to keep people very engaged. So, I wouldn't say, ba lazy, but, nam de ayazi, kone nduen jalo, but, it's not for me. It's an easy joke to make. It's an easy joke. Yeah. Talking about, Eyes and his jokes, his joke. Then swearing. Okay, I'm like, hey, I want to suck. People laugh automatically. Oh, so, no, each one make a see us there. Shout out to see us there. Don't know, don't know. What was that? Tangle it fast, Yeah. Okay, I'm nice, but he's one of the funniest comedians. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, he's one of the funniest comedians. Because one of the stories I get, I want to tell you, look, I got to know, but who observation I lose here? Yeah. And we 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 surprise all the time. Yeah, it's okay. Like, ah, you can't predict it. Yeah, you are too too much. So, so it's very brilliant. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Could we see you? Last one. Could we see you doing radio, or as at a level of broadcasting, not just you doing it as a com- uh-uh. comedic slot? You wouldn't do that. No, it's not. It's, I don't like it. It's not me. I want to produce films. I want to be behind the scenes and produce. Balala na waba fana bata. Good looking guys. <laughs> no, but filming, but he, there's a casting couch there, uh-huh. and uh, the people who are in charge of who is in front of the camera. <laughs> so now it's your, it's, your, it's, your, it's your angle to get good looking girls. Guys, okay. It's in a yendo. <laughs> no, no, no. 
No, I I don't know actually. Oh, I don't know how many. There are elements of truth. Yes, there is, but not, not all always. the time. So, Cody Productions as as professional born up. They are here for talent, nothing else. Mm. Mm. All right. Unga buy clean ago seven pilan. Ni at least anapi. For but the acting, I feel good. Him, I'm done. No, no, I want to produce. That's all. Unna. Even when I started doing those acting, I just wanted to be a familiar face. But if I talk to people, they know this person. Sure. But otherwise, you're done. I want to produce. Five, four, three, two, one. Action, not director. So what I want to do? Okay. So I want to get director. The casting, you mean now? On fire, na hamba. And yo. But you, how can I be videographer? Do you want to come and screen? No. No. Why not? Ushai na how can? Evan, Evan. Oh, you can bring us views. How hell is hot? Yeah, how hell is hot? Sibata, sorry. Oh yes, no, there is a how hell is hot. Oh, okay. He plays for Kazuchi. Yeah, when I go get a pole, I will. Now, how I used to do even that teacher. If I know someone famous, the biz of them down and biz and I'm sending me around to famous. Yes, when I'm married, makes perfect sense. How hell is hot? Is a diver. Is an Olympic diver. He dives a lot. We have to go football. If football, you watch football, ne? We born about this is it. Lom don't have potential, but they will never reach it. Go on. Yeah. I think how can someone only potential needs, but yeah. if he continues diving and being self, um, just selfish, then I'm not going to be selfish. Go on, you should have passed that ball. You know, like we saw a player, Zogas Funukor. Was I? You can't. And the Asman, I'm just having a national lack, man. Because if if footballers say to as great, they don't live up to. I think there's a mentality problem. I think it's South Africa. So just look at it from this perspective. If you take a typical 17-year-old as a Japan, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. a typical 17-year-old as a South Africa, mm-hmm. the the as a Japan would wipe the floor with the South African one. Just at a level of ubangu, what can they do? Do they already have a bank account? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um maybe they are already at university, maybe they already know how to drive. Mm-hmm. The typical black South African as a Japan or as a no way. You are too I was a driver. I was a I was a man. So I think if football in South Africa breeds um, adult children, because I actually work with football players now, mm-hmm. former football players, and even to, the, to to an extent, it's difficult to manage them because Basan is one of the player um, and all of that. Like we are we are we are so because they go to a hotel, um, they have a schedule, but they're gonna eat at this time, and we're gonna practice at this time. And they always have to be guarded. We go to bring another phase. I'm going to another phase. Then I forget my number. So we're going to be late. We're going to pass school. We're going to go. Yeah, but so it 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 plays itself out on the field. They given over instructions. Or they put the ball out to pass. It's like yo, bro. Like you pay me a hundred thousand to pass. At least I should know how to pass without you telling me when to pass. Because you pay me two hundred thousand to do it. So I know the flu. I learned the lesson. Suppose there was weekends. Yeah, but so there's those elements. Yeah, we South African football and a lot of other things as well. I think some coaches are full of as well about understanding actually Paula about the rainy band actually but because when the agent it was one before the phone the band yeah the phone the coach and they phone and then they get jobs mm. because circulation of the same coaches as well forgot. Yeah, but. sorry to take over your interview I know no yeah. so song actually interview Cows pay and then I don't know it's Pima Imali it's a lie hi when the phone Imali I call more than 100 rand because that's what I can afford at this moment <laughs> Okay. like I just have to say it. Women. See, voila, I like topic. Women. You take the price. They are delicious. Mm-hmm. Boom! <laughs> <laughs>